Welcome back to Good Morning, Lala. Ashley Dunn is in the house, Yay. style expert. You're going to give us some tips on how to get everything going on. <laughs> get, how to get it done. <laughs> done. Right. Yeah, there there you go. Go. Right. Or how to get done up. <laughs> Oh, Ooh. yeah. How to get that up. All yeah. the puns intended. Yes. Ashley, what was your journey to becoming a style expert? Oh, gosh. It was a very long journey. It started back at Prairie View. That's where I went to college in Texas. I'm from Texas. Mm -hmm. And um, I got to do a um, like an internship um, on a movie that they were doing there. And I had always been like fascinated with Rachel Zoe. And so I didn't know which direction I wanted to go in in fashion. And so I got the opportunity to intern as a style assistant. And so I was like, OK, I think this is what what I want to do. I want to do styling. And so the journey of styling began in 2000 and I believe it was three, 2002. So what do you do as yes. a stylist, as a style expert? What's yeah. that job like? So my journey has kind of shifted in the last few years. Um, I still take on clients for styling, but it's been mostly style experting. And I moved to LA a year ago to pursue more on camera and on air talent work. So it's kind of shifted, but it's still the basis of my, um, I believe, career path is still in fashion and styling. But now I've taken on the journey of also inspiring people through it. And so that's where I came up with like Done Up, where I do a feature on Instagram weekly where I show women how they can dress affordably and practical for their body types. Um, and so I just show them different looks and show, um, show them where they can get like affordable fashion. Yeah, Because I mean, in LA, you know, probably the rest of the world, like. I didn't know style, like you hire a stylist. Yeah. Like I didn't even know that till I came to LA. Yeah. But um, you know, we ran into each other at uh, Red Table Talks yeah. with Jada Pickett Smith, and mm -hmm. and you know the industry is interesting, and I do think that it's important. Like it's important for us to have our own style and our own brand, and it and it's a challenge. Like being on a show every single day, right. it's hard for me to stay really on brand with my clothes all the time. Right. How do you recommend for people to to find something that's consistent for themselves. I think that that's a journey in itself is identifying your own personal style and not um, being with social media. Everybody has this and everybody has that. And so it's easy to be, you know, intimidated or easily to be persuaded to do what somebody else is If doing. you don't have the Gucci belt, you're not Girl, out. <laughs> or the bag or the Gucci bag. Exactly. So, yeah. So it's really all about finding what makes you feel good. Um, mm -hmm. So finding and identifying what makes you feel most comfortable, what makes you feel like when you put that on, you're ready to face the day head on. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what I recommend to women um, is to find clothing that isn't uncomfortable because we're not trying to impress anybody but ourselves. And we have a job to get done, right? We're getting it done and we have to look good doing it, right? So, yeah. So, Ashley, tell us about the podcast. Yeah. So, getting it done with Ashley Dunn is something that I'm working on. Um, and it's basically where I interview women that are getting it done in their respective careers in fields. It could be maybe you're getting it done as a mom, a stay-at-home mom, or you're getting it done in your corporate job, or you're getting it done at McDonald's, whatever your job is. Um, You've got to get it done. You've got to get it done. <laughs> and so I'm reaching out to these women and having them tell me their story of how they've got it done. Because I know it's been a long road for me to even be here today at 35 years old. I don't look like what I've been through, thank God. But um, it's a lot of the behind the scenes that people don't see. They see like, you know, the Instagram and the highlight, but they don't see the struggle. Mm -hmm. They don't see you on the verge of the struggle Collapsing. is real. Oh yeah. my God, it's really real. The struggle is really real. And a lot of people don't see that. And I heard you guys talking earlier, and I think it's a balance of showing people and being authentic because you're not always done. You're not always on point. You are a human being and you are off sometimes. And I think that we should share those moments as well. Yeah. And so that's what I'm talking to these women about, how, how you got it done, how did you get to where you are, and how are you getting to or evolving to where you want to be? Right. Mm -hmm. Style is so important. I think also just finding our voice and finding our expression. And, and I'm a firm believer that confidence and everything comes from within. But there's no doubt that when you get on some good clothes that it's like, you know, you definitely you. feels pretty good. It feels really good. Um, I was going back and forth of what I was going to wear today because mm -hmm. you two are the cutest. <laughs> She's um, you always got the dress on. Are the cutest. And I was like, okay, what is this little brown girl got to look like? And what am I going to wear in between these two beauties? And so it's all about, again, finding something that makes you feel good. Mm -hmm. Because if you put on, we've all been there where we've worn something because maybe a girlfriend or, you know, a significant other or somebody said, that looks good on you. But you had doubts about it, but you still wore it. 
and then now you're out and you don't feel good. That's that, the worst, right? That is the worst. You know, I wish people would give more compliments because if I give a compliment, I really truly mean it. But yeah. that's a, it makes a world of difference. If you're in line at the grocery store and somebody says, you look beautiful today, why aren't we doing that? I'm all about, huh. that's a good point because I'm all about no matter, even on my Instagram handles, when I get DMs from people mm -hmm. and I'm always, someone will say, you look, you're beautiful or you're gorgeous or I, I like what you're doing. And I just comp, you are gorgeous. You are killing it. You know what I mean? Because people, just as they gave you that compliment, hell, they want to feel good too. Mm -hmm. Make them feel good as well. And I'm all about telling people. So where can good. we shop? Where can we yes. find, where can we save some cash and go shopping? For me personally, you guys, I love Target. And oh, I, I've always loved my Target. done up series is practically most of my stuff comes from Target, H&M. It's uh -huh. very affordable. Very, this is Zara, Zara but everything Zara. is very affordable, practical and accessible. So, but they're not the best for the environment and what they do, right? Oh, well, that's a whole other episode. <laughs> you know, that's another episode. No, that's another, another episode. episode. Aaron, H&M does run a really great conscious program they where they do they give do. you 20% off if you if bring, you bring in your the clothes that you are going to yeah. donate. Yeah. So if you go shopping, that's a good thing. exactly, like that. bring your old clothes and they will recycle them into their new fashion. I like so, it. Okay, good so, to know. Good to know, right? Another reason to go shopping. Right, another reason <laughs> to go. Ashley, please tell everyone where they can find and follow your personal yes, journey. You can follow me on um, Instagram, Twitter. Um, I'm not really on Facebook, but I am Ashley Dunn. Yeah. Thanks for helping us get it done today. Yes. We are Good Morning La Land, America's first live streaming daily talk show, coming to you live Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. All of these interviews are available as a podcast on iTunes, and the whole show is streaming on Evertalk TV, on Apple TV, and Roku. That's right. We are waking up the world together. You guys have a beautiful Thought Thursday. Make it happen.